Hello everyone, what I'd like to do with this video today is to just show you how to access and a little bit about how to get around the geo game that we're going to be using for our activity during the South Asia module. This geo game is part of a project that's been undertaken by some geographers within the department to um, make some learning based geography games that use um, GIS technological platforms and an online game as a learning tool to understand uh, things such as the Green Revolution, which you heard, heard, heard about in the reading and video lectures. Um, how this game works is it's a role playing game where the player plays the part of a farmer in rural Punjab in India and has to make decisions about how to manage resources and deal with. Um, the things that happen uh, over time to kind of give you a sense of what managing livelihoods might be like in these sort of contexts. So as you can see here, the link to the game is geogame.osu.edu. There's going to be a link under Carmen as well. And once you get to this page, you're going to want to um, click play to play the game. This takes you to a logon page. If you've already registered for an account on the system, just put the username and password that you had selected. If you haven't yet registered, you've been assigned a username and password that is your OSU name dot number for the username. So for example, uh, mine is Barnes.418. And the password is going to be geography. G E O G R A P H Y, all lowercase. On this next page, you'll be able to choose your game, and you should have the option of the game that you had signed up for with your particular time slot. Once you're in it, you'll pick the family that you want to play as. And so you have some different options in terms of the number of family members, their ages, the amount of land that you're starting with, etc. And you want to think about what would be important if you were um, farming in this context. Not only would land be important, but the labor of adults um, would be very important to the overall ability of your family to produce a livelihood. So I'm going to go ahead and click this middle one here and select that to continue. Now there's an instruction sheet up on Carmen that lists a lot of the different options um, that you can go through for the game itself and please take a look at that. What I'm going to do is just kind of poke around a little bit to show you the way to access um, some of these things. And so when the game loads, you see um, some map information displayed here. So this is an aerial photo of the region within India that the game is set. And within this map, you can see that there's different parcels of land that are sort of blocked off as places that are available to you um, to set up your farm. So I have uh, nine acres free. And so I can set up those nine acres wherever I like. And so I can buy this parcel or whichever parcel. Just by clicking on it, you'll have those as sort of options. So you can go ahead and buy your land until you have the amount bought up that is your your free land that your family begins with. So that's um, one of the actions that you can do. Some of the other actions are accessible through this button up here. So here you can see the assets that are available from the bank or other players. So let's say you wanted to, you have this farmland and you wanted to plant some sort of crop. Uh, we have land raised seed here and you can buy that for a dollar a bushel. And then you have the high yield seed, which you can buy for $20 a bushel. Um, here you have things like fertilizer, 
and animals for inputs, and then labor beyond what's in your family. Um, so if you wanted to go ahead um, from this list of market items, sorry, my items, and you wanted to add to it, you go ahead and click on the item, and if you wanted to buy, for example, high yield seed, uh, I've got uh, almost $500, and it's $20 a bushel, so if I buy five bushels, That'll cost me about $100, so I've bought some seed, and we can buy some fertilizer as well. So you want to go back to the market, and so it's a dollar a pound. Um, let's buy, say, 100 pounds. And so we've got fertilizer, and we've got seed. We can also get things like, as we said, labor or oxen to help do the work, but we don't really have enough money for that right now. Okay, so now we have some inputs and we want to get to farming. So to start farming, you're going to click on the parcel that you're interested in planting, and then you choose um, your sort of options here. You can choose the type of seed, and we have that high yield seed, so we're going to plant that. Uh, the level of fertilizer, and we're going to keep it low because it takes a lot um, to even do sort of basic fertilizer. Um, you can install irrigation, which is obviously helpful in a monsoon climate where you have um, high levels of rainfall during part of the year, but it's relatively dry throughout the rest of the year. Um, so irrigation will obviously improve your yield, but as you can see, it's quite costly. So you can make a decision based on what resources you have if you want to go through with that. When you've got it set up as you like, then you go ahead and click submit and that will plant your parcel as you can see these parcels have uh, little plant logos here so i had stopped the recording for a second and planted up, up a couple parcels and i'm go ahead gonna go ahead and finish my turn this is the uh, we're on the option where it doesn't have a timed turn uh, but instead it has uh, turns that you can manually finish which is what i suggest for your practice so we'll go ahead and click finish the turn and then that will cause uh, the time to pass. I believe it's set to be as though a year had passed. And so um, you see the summary of your last turn. I got a fate card that um, is, means the highly yielding cultivator is not available for this year, which is going to reduce my uh, yield overall. Um, we see the score for the last turn. There was consumption of 47 bushels of grain because, of course, my family had to eat. The yield of my fields was 87.3 bushels, so there was a little bit of surplus. Um, my total income was zero because uh, we ate most of the food that had been produced, and then the total cost was 253. Uh, so we come out uh, with no additional uh, money for this next turn. So now you know, it's the next turn, we can go ahead and make more decisions about how we want to spend um, our money and hopefully uh, build those resources to create a livelihood for the family. So as you can see, this is kind of how you navigate the game. Whatever decisions you make are fine, just try to be uh, thoughtful about it. Um, it is set up to have some rough things happen sometime. So your grade isn't going to be based on your overall score for the game itself because some of that is just based on uh, chance and the luck of the draw that you get. Uh, but your game will be based on having played through it um, thoughtfully and answering the associated questions within uh, the quiz itself. So there'll be more specific instructions for this up on Carmen, uh, but this is just a sort of way to help you navigate around it. The only other thing is uh, looking at uh, the ability to kind of zoom in and out of the map parcel itself, which you see here within the plus line assign here um, on the top. You can kind of navigate around as this is an actual um, place on the ground uh, in India. If you have any other questions or concerns about this, feel free uh, to contact me.